today we are um, going to be featuring the um, genetic stripe, which is often known as the G-stripe. Um, beautiful snake. And you can see he's got this gorgeous stripe down the dorsal stripe that uh, comes out of the head. And then you can see that it follows it all the way down it's the whole banana pack, here. Is that the pas super pastel combined with the banana and the G-stripe produces a very clean animal. So most G-stripes you'll find will have patternless sides. Um, although you can yeah, put sit on the pumpkin. Can you sit on that pumpkin for us? Are you on? There we go, beautiful. Running there down that go. line. So there's the head stamp. Beautiful. So this is the wife of Giovanni. She is a beautiful girl. Pastel genetic stripe. There we go. Beautiful. Just look how beautiful the colours are on her. I'm contrasting it with the pumpkin. And she's walking her way up. And yep, she's playing with all the props. <laughs> And she'll be looking for somewhere to hide, I'm sure. Uh, oh, first G-stripe was um, discovered in 1999 by VPI, I believe. And uh, since then they've kind of gone out of vogue, but they're coming back into fashion because the clown combos, the lesser combos, um, exantic combos, there's a lot of beautiful combinations. So the plan is to create some heads and then we'll plug them into some of our other recessive genes to get double recessives. That's beautiful, look at that. What a lovely contrast. Just look how she's moving that body here with the pumpkin. That's lovely, lovely. <laughs> she's displaying. And there's the banana. Beautiful. Isn't that just lovely? What a lovely sight that is. Married together, husband and wife. Happy, content. Banana's doing this lock here with the lesser spot nose male. So you can see this is his first ever lock. And he's with the twilight, pastel twilight. And that is beautiful news. We've had to wait three days for it, but it's there. Right, here's Giovanni, our gorgeous G-striped banana super pastel G-stripe. And he has put on about 200 grams since we've had him. We've had him for about, must be coming on for six weeks. And uh, he's doing really, really well. He's a very solid snake, as you can see. And I'll just show you how beautiful his patterns are. So he's got a complete dorsal stripe all the way down its um, dorsal. I'll just show you how beautiful that is. You can see how it runs down. Just try and show you that. And it goes all the way down to his tail. He's got banana in him. And he's also got um, pastel. So it's the pastel that makes the colour bright. And it's got super pastel in there. So you get a double dose of intense light genes. And um, you'll notice there's no spots on this banana. So Double pastel will help to reduce the amount of spots. A lot of bananas will get spots, but he hasn't got one spot on him. I can't see one. There might be later he might get one, but I'm hoping he'll stay completely beautiful like this, clean. And he's a bit of a character and uh, he's sussing me out. So we'll take him to the light box and show you what he looks like in the light box. And then we'll weigh him as well and see how much he's weighing. I'm guessing he's close to 600 grams, which is almost big enough to breathe with now, so we should be able to produce some nice heads. Right, so we've zeroed the scales, and now I'm going to put them into the, see if I can get them into a little ball first and see if he'll stay in there for me. You going to stay in there for me? There you go, just stay there, stay there. So he is weighing 
572, which is really, really good. Okay, there we go. Gorgeous. There we go. Beautiful. Now that's what we want. Lovely. So this is the beautiful G-Stripe. Absolutely gorgeous. Just watch his body movements and as we see him moving, I'll zoom in, contrasting his colours with the pumpkin. That is absolutely gorgeous animal. <laughs> Give him a few things to think about. There we go. You might just... That's better. That's much nicer. Beautiful. Beautiful. Give him some things to hide behind and then he might just stay in the centre. But uh, Giovanni's playing hard. <laughs> There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> He's found a little place to hide now. But uh, yeah, not easy filming a sub at all. Well, now he's an adult, I suppose, six, seven hundred grams. But uh, a beautiful snake nonetheless. He's found somewhere to hide. <laughs> Giving him somewhere to shade himself from the light. So there you go. <laughs> we can home in on his pattern now while he's doing that. He seems to be happy and settled. So there you go. There's the genetic stripe, G-stripe, banana, super pastel, and how beautiful that contrasts with the pumpkins. Lovely. Now what I might be able to do is if I take away the logo now, let's see whether that will help him show himself a bit, be a bit more settled. There we go. That's better. He climbs back onto the pumpkins that would be really good news. I'm just giving him some props to kind of help him to feel more settled and happy. Here he is. He's a bit more settled now. Are you coming Giovanni? Can you come towards us? There we go. Going towards the light, just tasting his atmosphere. You can see his tongue coming out. That's a good picture of his head stamp there. Look at what the super pastel does. It completely changes it to white and the dorsal to the same color. There we go, beautiful. Oh, beautiful, he's, he's actually staying in position, which is lovely now. We can zoom in and just see where he's, where he's going. He wants to come out, I think. Okay, right, we just uh, put Giovanni back into his home. There he is. He looks happy. Beautiful, beautiful animal. And now we're going to introduce you to his wife. Want to come out and play again? He definitely wants to come and play. Maybe I'll be able to zoom in a bit closer into his um, natural rub. I think the light might have just um, spooked him a, a little bit, but you can see how beautiful he is. And look, he might even come, come out and say hello. There he is. Gorgeous little animal. You can see that lovely head stripe. Head stamped all the way down. Single stripe, unbroken, which is what you're looking for for a G-stripe. But now he's settling in nicely into his home. And now we're going to meet his wife, which is Gizmo. So we'll say goodnight to Giovanni. Good night, Giovanni. We'll just go on to Gizmo now and see if she would like to come out and play with us a little bit. There's Gizmo. Now Gizmo is a pastel G-stripe and you can see what it does. It produces these lovely bands. Look at the rich textured black. See the side of the G-stripe. Now she does have a slightly broken G-stripe as you can see there slightly but it's virtually complete all the way down and she may want to come out and play with us but she's in a nice little ball. So we'll take her out. She might feel a heat signature and think that it's feeding time because it's getting quite late now. But she's coiled, <laughs> ready to spring onto some food here. So we've got to be a little bit careful here that she doesn't think it's feeding time. And I think she's going into shed a little bit here so she's not at her best. But there she is with the light on her. Gorgeous animal. And you can just see those beautiful patterns. It's got the uh, eye stripe there. 
lovely. Right, let's see what she can pose for us in the light show box. You here. So this is the wife of Giovanni, and she is a beautiful girl. Pastel genetic stripe, so single gene pastel, and when she's up to size, which will be, she's about 450 at the moment, so she's got quite a ways to go, probably about a year and a half before she'll be ready. But a beautiful snake nonetheless, isn't she gorgeous? Let's see if we can get her head pattern in. There we go. Um, but no, I love her tones. So she's got that lovely blacks around the edge of her G-stripe. And now she wants to explore a little bit. So let's just see what we can do there. There we go. She's checking out the camera. <laughs> there we go. Are you beautiful? There's a side profile. And just look how gorgeous she is. Isn't she just lovely? And she's definitely very interested in the camera. She likes the smell of her, her home. We'll just tuck that back in there for you. And see whether you can have some fun with the pumpkins. There you go. There we go. Beautiful. Let's see her beautiful colours. She's going on exploration. Just look how beautiful the colours are on her and contrasting it with the pumpkin. And she's walking her way up. And yep, she's playing with all the props. <laughs> and there she is, she's lovely. Beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. And she'll be looking for somewhere to hide, I'm sure. Isn't that lovely? So this is the Pastel Genetic Stripe. And her name is Gizmo. And she's married to Giovanni. So isn't she just lovely there? Beautiful animal. I love the way the G-Stripe runs all the way down the dorsal. And uh, you need two recessive genes to make a visual, so that's why we bought a male and female version. So we can plug them into each other when they're mature. And she's really starting to behave herself nicely. Beautiful animal. Giovanni was a bit flighty, but uh, Gizmo seems to be a little bit more settled, which is great. But no doubt she'll uh, show herself to us around the light box. And she's exploring, but she's a lot more calm, a bit more uh, gentle and more at peace and working her way up to the light stretching out getting plenty of good enrichment time in here certainly able to stretch and move the muscles and there you can see the beautiful colours and tones of the animal gorgeous 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 so there's a lot of potential in the G-stripe and they're coming back I think the um, first G-stripe was um, discovered in 1999 by VPI, I believe. And uh, since then they've kind of gone out of vogue, but they're coming back into fashion because the clown combos, the lesser combos, um, exantic combos, there's a lot of beautiful combinations. So the plan is to create some heads and then we'll plug them into some of our other recessive genes to get double recessives. But she's um, really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful snake loving her colors and this one you can see has some pattern on the body whereas the banana super pastel had no pattern at all she's got a little bit of pattern it's uh, very similar to the champagne in some ways and she's got a lovely green eye because she's got that pastel Let's see if we can home in on her green eye she's a little bit shy but she's coming out That's beautiful, look at that. What a lovely contrast. 
just look how she's moving that body over the pumpkin. That's lovely, lovely. <laughs> she's displaying for us. And there's the head. Got our first lock here with the lesser spot nose male. As you can see, this is his first ever lock. And he's with the twilight, pastel twilight. And that is beautiful news. We've had to wait three days for it, but it's there. And he's learned what to do, and she's up for it. And the condition's all right. And there's the male. We thought that was a female, and we just sexed it this year and realized it's up to weight. So we thought we'd try and produce some super spot nose power balls. And fantastic news. Really, really pleased. Well done, well done, well done. Right, I think we've got a lock here between Panda, our bamboo girl, and our banana, and there's the lock. Look at that, very, very visual for us. Beautiful. Let's just zoom in on that. And there's the banana. Beautiful. Isn't that just lovely? What a lovely sight that is. Married together, husband and wife. Happy, content. Banana's doing the business and the um, panda, our beautiful bamboo girl, is obliging. And you can see how the male's tails underneath the females. And that is a lock. So well done, Apollo. Your first breeding year this season, the second time they've locked. So they locked in October and it's the beginning of November. So that's two locks by the 7th of November, which he's right on target. And uh, she's building follicles. See how big she is? Beautiful, beautiful animal. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to subscribe, like and share. Hit that notification button and we shall see you next time.